watching. There's these guys down there like, we want to introduce you to the new Bounty Hill climb. This oh, is really? called Devil's Cross. Yeah. There's all these videos of racers and stuff yeah. that ain't making it up. It, and I'm like, we huh. went right up that right. little bit. I, so, I mean, I know there's a lot of mud buggies and stuff here, but that's the calls to choose something I wanted to leave with today. That would be it. They call that the Liney Wilson. Oh. I mean? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can smell them things when they come out. <laughs> All right, you sexy critters. I don't know. Today we are going to an off-road expo with Travis and his wife. And my wife is actually coming along, and she has not really ridden in the S10 more than like five minutes. So I figured it would be really fun to get that on video, see her reaction. She was convinced this truck was going to be colder than it is outside, I think. It means it's, almost, he, it's almost too hot. Yeah, it is kind of close. <laughs> Old girl keeps it warm. That speaker yeah, works. Uh-huh. Because it kind of sounds like it's coming from the... I'm telling you, this truck, this, there's nothing wrong with this truck. Besides, you know, no AC. But besides that... I guess I don't really think I'm comfortable when I get cars. What the hell are you doing? I don't have a blinker. Right now. Do you think anyone looks at They might have looked, been looking better than no signal at all. It, it drives good. It just doesn't drive as smooth as it used to because of the new wheels for some reason. I need to get... It's loud! Oh, a little? Well, uh, yeah, we can turn the music on because that's probably about as good as the audio is going to get. A few minutes later. All right, what's your what's your initial thoughts on riding the S10? It's not too bad on roads like this, but it does get pretty loud on the interstate. I definitely need a more aerodynamic situation. Well, I, was, I, I was supposed to turn. I'm really hungry, but sure. Oh, you said five minutes, like five minutes ago. <laughs> and we still got three minutes. Yeah. That's going to be eight minutes. All right, let's go eat. You can do like a little back, like at the end. You can do exclude. Hey, pay attention to me. I do dirty things for a crab, some crab ragoon. Oh, look at that. All right, now here's the part of the video where everybody clicks off. Mmm. We noticed in our analytics for the last video, right when people clicked off was right when Travis appeared on camera. So, <laughs> being a little risky showing him there. Dude, you know what I also don't like? This tint job. What do you mean? Um, what I mean is, it looks like it's fucking musty busty right here. That's, no, that's... Because it's yellow green. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. You're allowed to darken up here for the sun. Oh, yeah, but I hate it as well. I'm Okay. <laughs> if it was black, that'd be different, but it just looks dirty. Oh my gosh, I missed that me. We're ready. I did not know if it had a Segway like a legit vehicle. Yeah, 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 I see that. This one's pretty cool. It's the same, so this one's got the zip up windows. Uh huh, and it says yellow. Oh, yeah. That's cool to me. Okay, for sure. <laughs> it's got 35 slots. Well, now she did say she wanted a four seater. That would be fine in a stock platform, at least I could drive and we did. Yeah. But yeah. Not, not a bounty buggy. So you notice a lot of them cut their tires down to shave off a lot of weight and you're talking like 
probably 100 pounds off of some of these big tires. Oh. Good example on this one, all the lines they shave out of it. Yeah. You can see how thick it was. Yeah. You know, you're taking a half inch out of it. Oh yeah. You afraid of bears? Bears can climb trees. I bet they could. I bet they could get you good and dead. Oh there. yeah. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. Keep your toes warm on the trails with that one. Oh, you could, your toes ain't gonna get cold in the side by side. Because the radiator's oh, yeah, the you right. in the back. You right. All your water lines are running between your console. That's true. You're gonna be warm in the winter. My feet do stay pretty warm. warm. Yeah, you can smell them things when they get hot. Imagine if I climb up into that. How would you even do that? You just fling yourself up in there. <laughs> Your hair, I caught that. Your hair went whoosh. That was that old fat truck. Uh huh. They call that the Liney Wilson. You know oh. What I mean? oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Is that the kind of kind of side by side you want? No. We'll make our own boom boom in the side by side. Oh my god. Got a billet logo on the 
I was surprised to see, I've got, you know, one of the normal Segways. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised to see gas motors. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be all EV. That's, all gas. that's awesome. <laughs> you don't have to slam it. <laughs> the door closes like a brand new car. Ooh. You're laid back. That's comfortable. I could ride all day like that. I might have to. My players this do might not have that much comfort as far as. This might be where I'm looking at. Can't you see them? Well, I will. That door's a little janky because that soft cap came apart on me at the ride park last week. Oh, he was actually just calling I just said it closes better than my razor. Oh, yeah, maybe I got a fix. I don't know. Yeah. I had to pressure walk it so many times. Yeah. But I blew the bell for a while. Yeah. It's got a lot of. Oh, yeah. That's pretty back. comfy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised to see 35s on it. And the, the clear doors are cool too. Yeah. You don't have a blind spot. Uh -huh. Three star builds those. They're just north of Lexington, Kentucky. Um, and then Brad, Brad's coming out with some. Brad did the windshields on this. Three star did the soft cab, the tree kicker, the front bumper, the back bumper's all Segway stuff. The rock slide kit underneath, that's all Segway. Oh, and I'm surprised you can get all this, uh, this factory accessory stuff. Yeah. There's that standard with it. So there's a tree kicker that comes standard. Uh -huh. um, it's this single bar, and it comes up into there. Okay. The double bar is the accessory. So, but yeah, you do get you get a decent little tree kicker yeah. with this. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I know there's a lot of mud buggies and stuff here, but that's the cost to choose something I wanted to leave with today. That would be. It. <laughs> I mean, I'd go do mud then. Yeah. Well, we took these down. I'd never been to Iron Mountain in Georgia. Uh -huh. We went down there last weekend. That's why this thing looks so fake. Dude, I washed this thing 10 times. And it was wet and muddy. And we, we got down in these bottoms where nobody had been much. And we come down this clearing and there's these two big hill climbs going up. And Adam, that one, he was on 30s. And now we've been up for a long time. He gets going up and he tried it three times. He did just about the top and he just couldn't quite get over it. He comes back down and he goes, you can make it up now 35. Well, I come around, look, well, there's a tree root like this big around this vertical at yeah. the very tip of it. Boom, straight up, it, no problem. Come back down. The other side's just as big, but it's rutted. Boom, straight up, come back down. And he gets it on the 30s. And once I kind of got that dirt straight right. up, boom, straight up, like nothing. When we get home, my wife's messing around on TikTok and she goes, Hey, isn't this the hill climb we did? And I remember, she shows me, I'm like, Yeah. She goes, Watch this video watch and there's these guys down there like want to introduce you to the new bounty hill climb oh, really? called Devil's Cross. Yeah. there's only a video to racers and stuff yeah. and they making it up it and I'm like we huh. right up that right. little bit I'm not the two yeah, yeah. Oh, easy we did my bachelor trip back in October at the hot spring off our park we thought we entered in on it too it was it was dark outside and then we got to the other end of the trail and they said it was six yeah we we're going up at the front end as we're getting light then we had a turn at the very top and my buddy had a four-seater oh like, gosh yeah it's about to roll over while hanging on to the side of it <laughs> yeah like, that was this is like, this man. is not a two yeah. well and then I was in the four seater. We had no business going up anything more than that anyway. The rest of us were in razors. He was in a four seater rain rig. It was like farm rig, you know? Right. It's like, get out of his way. Yeah. He's got to floor it to make it up this thing. Well, the worst part of it was we're sitting there going up, and then the guy in front of us, well, it just dies. We're, and like he said, we, we need everybody to get out of the way, and it dies right in front of us. And so we, I thought that big rig was, we were about to head back down. Yeah. If they stopped, they wouldn't have. Okay. It wasn't any turning around. Yeah, okay. yeah, we just had to hit the rough stuff on the right. But no, I like that technical. Yeah, you know that good stuff. I mean, that a little fun in the mud once in a while. I just hate cleaning up after. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like creeping around on rocks. I like feeling flags. Uh, just a just a quick interjection. So unfortunately, my GoPro died, but talking to Kelly with Segway was super cool. I really see myself getting one of these in the future, so I'm really looking forward to that. He mentioned that they plan on coming to Hot Springs and bringing several of their rigs, and they're really good about just, you know, throwing you the keys and letting you test them out. We'll definitely make a video of that when that happens. But if anybody else has any rigs that they'd like to, you know, we do a review of, or we do, you know, do ride-alongs with us, just reach out. We're always looking for more content. So I just wanted to make sure I got that in there, and now back to the video. All right, that was it for the off-road expo. Travis, what was your favorite thing? What, what, what was most surprising to you? Uh, I'm gonna say I like the Segway. Oh, surprisingly. 
I mean, he was making jokes before we got here that it was just going to be some EV stuff like well, I ride around. I think on. about his hoverboard. I don't think about side by sides. But they have their own gas engine. Uh, talk to their rep. Awesome guy. Awesome rigs. And uh, and then also the uh, Mid America uh, off road park in Obama. Definitely going to be checking that out. Sounds like they got some good events, races coming up, and testing tune days, overlanding. So right up our alleys and what we're trying to get our feet into. Well, that's better than I could have said it. So, ladies, would you all like to say goodbye to the video? Bye. Uh. Oh, I thought that. Was... Oh, okay. So you getting in too? <laughs>